The first of our flashback series is about the center of spirituality for priests, deacons, and seminarians, commonly known as Kola F, meaning Epiphany. It was started by Focolare founder Kara Lubick at the request of bishops from Philippines and other Asian countries. It started in 1983 with the late Father Tony Weber as Swiss Focolarino priest as its first director and the entire Mariapolis Peace in Tagaytay as its campus. In these past years, a good number of priests, deacons, and seminarians from different Asian countries have benefited from the program called One Year for Jesus. Now, the course proper lasts for six months starting on September 1 every year. There is a three-month English proficiency course from June to August to those who need English lessons. With already a good number of reservations by bishops or seminary rectors for their seminarians, we expect the house to be full. Now, Scola Evi will welcome seminarians from Asia and beyond. The following short video is a historical document that highlights the 50th anniversary of the Gens, New Generations of Seminarians. Why have you come here? What do you want to see? What do you want to do? What are you expecting? But uh, perhaps today, like before, beyond all our motivations, our own personal expectations, it has to be Jesus himself to explain it to us. We are celebrating the Jubilee year of the Gens movement. And we are invited to look back and to look forward. For the past 50 years, many seminarians have embraced the spirituality of unity of the Focolare through the Gens movement. And now they have become priests. Others became bishops. Some others, a few became cardinals. They have been so grateful for, to the Gens movement for the accompaniment in their vocation journey. And so these days, we shall listen to their experiences and discover God's immense love to their stories. The heart of the Gens should beat with the heart of the Church. And so in this celebration, we wish to share to you our humble experiences of this oneness in mind and heart with the Church through the direction put forward by Pope Francis. And so we wish to invite you to dream with us on how we could move ahead together in our response to the signs of the time. So to discover, to discern, and to dream. This is the answer to my emptiness. This is really, Jen's Congress is really a renewal of my commitment to the Lord, renewal of my yes to the Lord. I'm very happy to be part of this very important event. I was telling some of you during the break that it gives great consolation to be here among you. I'm more and more sure that the present and the future is really here in Asia, both for the church, for the Focolare movement. religious dialogue is a, a sign that we are maturing in faith. So it's a moment to ask ourselves, you know, uh, first of all, to go down deep into what we believe, 
and at the same time open up to welcome the others because more perspectives the more mature we become and welcome, a culture of interiority and spirituality, a culture of harmony, a culture of solidarity, and a culture of communion. Joy, 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 it's the power, yes, love, love.